Okay, so in this lab, our lab number 13, uh, it's about electrical conductivity. Okay, so we are going to be looking at different electrolytes. Okay, so an electrolyte is just a, a solution that has ions in it, basically. Okay, the more ions there are, if a, if a solution has a lot of ions, it's gonna be a strong electrolyte. If it has just a little bit of ions, it's gonna be a weak electrolyte, and no ions would be a non-electrolyte. The more ions that are in a solution, means the more able it is to conduct electricity, okay? That's why it's called electrical conductivity. We're gonna conduct electricity through solutions, which is pretty cool, right? This is why you see all those, well, not all of them, there's not like a lot of them, right? But there's like the ridiculous movie where the dude's blow drying his hair or something and he falls in the bath and ah, oh, the hair dryer falls in and then he oh, electrocutes himself, okay? The only reason he electrocutes himself is because the water in the bathtub is not DI water, it's tap water. And there are electrolytes in tap water. If the water in that bathtub was DI water, deionized water, there's no ions in the water, it's deionized water. Nothing would have happened. There's no electricity that's gonna be conducted through that water, through that solution, okay? But we have a ton of different solutions to check and see if they are strong electrolytes, weak electrolytes, or non-electrolytes, okay? And the, the stronger the electrolyte, the more electricity that will be conducted through the solution. So that means the brighter the light bulb. Okay, the way we actually get to test this is, this is a light bulb that has the circuit disconnected, right? The, the circuit is open, and we're gonna close the circuit by actually you know, putting these different solutions underneath the, the two parts of the circuit that are open, and we're gonna connect them with the solution. If the solution is a good electrolyte, is a strong electrolyte, that light is gonna light up really bright, okay? If the solution is a weak electrolyte, the light will come on, but it'll be weak, right? It, it'll shine dimly. If the solution is a non-electrolyte, the lights are not going to come on at all. Non-electrolyte, no electrical conductivity, okay? Now we just test a bunch of stuff and see if the light lights up. That's pretty much it, okay? I will say between each and every trial, what we do is we give a DI wash to our, to our light, okay, to our circuit. So we have the DI water rinse. So just after every single trial, we'll put some DI water onto the electrodes to make sure that our next trial isn't contaminated by our previous trial, okay? Let's do it. All right, so turn the lights off so that we'll hopefully be able to see any weak electrolytes light up, okay? So this is just regular old tap water. Okay? So you can see it light up just slightly, right? So it would be a weak electrolyte. Maybe I shouldn't give you answers. Okay, so there you go, that's tap water. And we do a DI rinse. Rinse off those electrodes. Okay. And here's DI water. We know what's gonna happen, but here we go. Okay, DI water. Don't need to rinse off DI water with DI water, am I right? Okay, then we're testing sugar as a solid. Okay, so sugar as a solid, we're just gonna stick those electrodes in, see what happens. Nothing, okay. Then we're gonna test sugar, and it says AQ, aqueous. So that means I'm going to make a sugar solution here. I'm gonna dump some sugar in some DI water, mix it up. Exciting, I know. Rinse that off. Okay. And we'll see what happens now with the sugar water. Interesting. Okay. So that's sugar water or sugar aqueous, right? We'll rinse it off with our DI solution here. All right, next is salt. 
I believe. Yep, NaCl. Table salt as a solid. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Then we have table salt, NaCl, sodium chloride, aqueous. Oh, come on. Okay. So we pour some NaCl and some DI water. You have to make sure you use DI water, right, to make your solution. Otherwise, if you use just tap water, you might get, uh, well, you might get your, your data contaminated, okay? All right, so salt water. NaCl as an aqueous solution. Okay, rinse it off. Do a nice DI rinse. Okay, what's next? Acetic acid as a liquid. So acetic acid is a liquid. And this is pure acetic acid right now. It smells very strongly of vinegar. Why? Because vinegar is acetic acid, okay? So it's 100% acetic acid. Nothing's going on when it's pure liquid. If I have an aqueous acetic acid, so that means it's mixed with water. Oof, it's very strong vinegar smell, okay? I'm gonna, so I'm gonna pour some of my acetic acid into my DI water. I'm making a solution. Oh, man, we'll cover that up. Smell is strong with that one, okay? Here's acetic acid aqueous. Definitely not quite as bright as uh, our sodium chloride, right? But there we go. DI rinse. Okay, <laughs> the air conditioning comes on. All right, calcium carbonate as a solid. We all saw that coming. Versus calcium carbonate, aqueous. Take a little scoop, put it into the eye water. Mixy, mixy, mix. Okay, and this is a cloudy solution, you'll notice. All right, here we go. Okay. Calcium carbonate as a, in a solution, right? Aqueous. What is next? 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, but before I do that, I can't forget don't want to contaminate my experiment, right? So we'll do a DI rinse. There we go. 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. Ta-da! And we rinse. And then 0.1 molar nitric acid. HNO3. Okay, so we're seeing those strong electrolytes. So those are going to be strong acids. We will definitely be talking about that soon. It all connects, right? All chemistry connects. Okay, what's next? One molar, oh, 0.1 molar, 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, NaOH. It's a base, it's a strong base. Okay, now this is unfortunately the only one that we are missing. I do not have any saturated calcium hydroxide for us just because of how everything is kind of off on this strange coronavirus situation, okay? All right, then we get 0.1 molar phosphoric acid. Why did I not have this poured out already? My bad, my bad, here we go. Okay. Phosphoric acid, 0.1 molar. 
Okay, so 0.1 molar, that's not very concentrated. But we still see it lighting up. DI rinse. Ooh. And 0.1 molar aluminum nitrate. is getting repetitive for you. Hopefully not. Point one, point 0.1 molar copper to sulfate. Beautiful. So lovely. And rinse. 